Straw bale is what we call infill. It's inside the post area. We stack it, it's alternating in courses like bricklaying, so it's stronger. These things are about 35 pounds each, they're three feet long. That's a standard size. They do come in two different heights, either 14 inch or 16 inch. Specify that you want the 16 inch because that makes seven courses and you get the four. The other material I chose that was very important to use for thermal mass on the inside was adobe. It's locally produced and it's a very easy material to work with. Foundations use a substantial amount of concrete, particularly when the foundation is 18 inches wide. A rubble trench foundation reduced the amount of concrete used here by more than 50%. The straw bales will be used for infill only and do not take any structural load. The roof on this house does more than just keep the rain out and the heat in. It's also used for collecting solar energy. You can see on the panels on this roof, those are photovoltaic panels which convert sunlight into electricity. 100% of the electrical needs for this house In those are places, we take a chainsaw or a or knife and make sure that there is a raceway that we can shove the wire into the straw where it's less likely to be hit by any kind of nails or anything like that. Here's the gypsum plaster that's white and it's quite beautiful. This is a clay plaster. Clay based, um, kaolin comes from Georgia. You can also find it in northern New Mexico. You can find it virtually anywhere in the country. Go in there, press real hard, and I'm visually checking it out and I can see certain hole areas and I also throw it on instead of just placing it, so I smash it. And once I have it on, then after that, I'm just gliding to flatten it out a bit. I'll use the trowel both ways, left and right. 